a good friend of ours and uh, someone I went to college with. He's worked at the ACLJ before. We certainly supported him. In his political career has he's uh, moved up inside his home state of West Virginia as a delegate, as a state auditor now running uh, to be attorney general. J.B. McCuskey is joining us now uh, from West Virginia. J.B., great to have you on the broadcast. I talked to you a lot, buddy, but it's good to have you on the show. We are awaiting this U.S. Supreme Court decision on the 14th Amendment to make sure Democrat liberal groups aren't able to take Donald Trump off the ballot on their own. But then you had some Republicans in your own state try to say, Well, let's just take Joe Biden off. And I think we wanted to have you on right now to say, this is not the strategy we supported at the U.S. Supreme Court, nor is that the strategy we want to support or see. We want to win this at the Supreme Court and then win this at the election. Yeah, so I think uh, what you are describing is people who are probably well-meaning, but are using Donald Trump and this election as a way for them to generate their own publicity, right? And at the end of the day, we're all, we all have to be pulling this rope the same way. And we do not want secretaries of state to have the ability to pull candidates off the ballot without uh, any real basis. And to pull Joe Biden off the ballot, uh, number one, uh, is foolish because he's going to win. Trump's going to win West Virginia 85-15 or 90 to 10, right? And so we have to be very strategic and we have to follow the lead of great lawyers like you and your dad. And we were so proud to have you guys in here to protect uh, uh, the president's, uh, Trump's base on our ballot, uh, not only here, but in the entire country, uh, but also our attorney general, Patrick Morrissey, who has taken a very strong leadership role amongst our attorneys generals in this country, uh, working with you at the Supreme Court on a cohesive strategy uh, that is designed to keep President Trump on the ballot in all 50 states. Yeah, I mean, the goal here, JB, obviously, uh, you are uh, you know, trying to move up from state auditor uh, to inter- attorney general. And I always say that you're someone who serves uh, selflessly, I mean, because you take on these jobs. And a lot of people in these states, uh, again, people may not even know what those positions do. And I think you've done an awesome job of actually going around your state. I see you, what you're doing on Facebook every single day. You're at multiple events. You're helping people get jobs out of college. Uh, and I think that's awesome. But more more. Again, just a accountability at the local level. Take that to the attorney general's office where you can continue what is a law enforcement job too as a, a state auditor into the attorney general's spot. But but this idea of the, the politics surrounding this, I, I know it's you know, it gets nasty in the primaries, but ultimately, ultimately here, like you said, we know that in West Virginia, a conservative message is going to beat Joe Biden day after day. I mean, Joe Manchin won't even endorse Joe Biden right now. And, and, you know, and and he says, I've got plenty of time to do it. Maybe he won't even do it. Maybe he's just retiring and he's out of it. Like, as you said, because of the the margin of victory will be so large, but we do have to make sure that bad decisions aren't made that sound, that sound like they should be fun. Oh, you know what? If they're going to ban Donald Trump, let's ban uh, Joe Biden. We, We should not fall for that trap. Well, and I think what you're talking about is is an idea of selfless service, right? And so when you are a servant, you have to look past what is expedient for your personal campaign, and you have to uh, look for what's the best for America. And I'm proud to endorse President Trump. He's our guy here in West Virginia. He's the most popular president probably in the history of our state, and he's done so much to make our state better. Um, But people will try to use supporting him as a way to get elected to a smaller race. At the end of the day, getting him elected is the most important thing for our country. And people who who quickly and without a, a full grasp of the facts and the law just try to glom on to what is a, 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 a an expedient legal idea uh, can really do more harm than good. And we have to make sure that we are uh, we are all uh, looking at it through that lens. And that is, you know, we we have wars in Israel. We have wars in. Uh, the Ukraine. We have upcoming uh, intense battles with China and with Russia, and you you name the international discord, um, that we need a strong American leader to uh, ensure that our prosperity continues and that our security is where it is. And we can't allow petty political squabbles in the uh, interests of of quick quick publicity in a a small state primary to over... uh, to, to to go beyond what is the ultimate goal here, and that's to make sure that what America 
remains the greatest country on the face of the earth. I mean, we hope this week we get that decision. Hope we got it today. We didn't, but uh, hope we get it this week that uh, the Supreme Court makes it clear that these secretaries of states uh, can't just uh, willy nilly remove a presidential candidate who has qualified for the ballot uh, to, uh, to remove them from the primary ballot. And we got people on Super Tuesday states, JB, they're voting right now in Tennessee. They are, and, and uh, Again, there's moves to say, well, could you take them off the ballot? Places like that. I mean, people have been voting, I, th- I think, since uh, until the 27th they get to vote. But I want to go back to something you said, too, because I think on this issue, it was great. You put a stop to it. I think voters understand why. It may, it may sound fun to hit Biden that way. And you know what? Politically, hit them all you want that way. But don't follow their bad legislative path. But let me talk to you about the issues. What are West Virginians, because we were talking to a lot of truckers yesterday. They were, they were talking about the, what was happening in New York and the fact that they were being overtaxed and over uh, just regulated to bring goods into New York. When you are, and I see it all over your social media, you were out all day, every day, all over the state of West Virginia in very different places. You were in a sugar shack selling molasses uh, yesterday and, uh, you know, in a, in a bigger town uh, talking about criminal issues and uh, some of the some of the legal issues towns are facing. What are the top two issues West Virginians are concerned about? Top two issues are border security, uh, ensuring that uh, we are maintaining a an actual border in the South. That is a huge deal for the drug crisis. It's a huge deal for our workforce. And it's a huge deal morally um, as we try to defend who our country is. And I would say the second biggest issue is uh, making sure that this country is energy independent and that we are free as West Virginians to mine our coal, uh, to, to, to harvest our trees and, and to, to drill our gas, to make sure that this country leads the world in low cost, effective energy policy. And that begins, middles and ends with our West Virginia coal and West Virginia natural gas. And there are a group of people in Washington who do not believe that our lifestyle or our uh, economy matters. And they would much rather push green, woke energy uh, than cost-effective, manufacturing-friendly coal and natural gas. Oh, JB, it's always great to uh, to see you on here. I talk to you regularly. I encourage people to check out your campaign. Again, if you're in West Virginia or outside West Virginia, JB is state auditor. He's running for a West Virginia attorney general. He pointed this issue out, which I thought was so important as we await that Supreme Court decision uh, this week. JB, thanks for taking the time to talk to our audience uh, today on the broadcast, and we hope you have great success out on the campaign trail in, in the next couple months. And I will join you and all your listeners in praying for a great Supreme Court decision to come out in the next couple of days. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you, JB.